Hey Freedom, have you been just creating videos without knowing who your audiences are? Are you struggling to find your voice, your people, or maybe your niche? Yep, let's talk about that today. Before we start guys, you know what to do, like, subscribe, and gong that bell. What's up Freedom? My name is Nold and welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all Freedom content. Finding your niche is so hard guys, even I until now do not know what kind of video should I be making for my personal channel. It's not because of ideas for lack of content maybe about equipment, but it's because I do not know who my videos will be targeted to. Well, hopefully after this episode, things will change. So enough of the chit chat, freedom, quick tips. give you tips on how to find your niche and to build up your niche, let's understand first what niche means on YouTube. The term niche in business is essentially another term for focus or concentration. It refers to the top YouTubers today, they will generally have a core focus on a specific topic and find ways to make their channel unique. You might be wondering, why is niche so important on YouTube? To answer your question, finding your niche is an important core component for any content creator. Successful content creators know their audiences and how to create videos that their viewers would want to see. It is important to know your niche in order to focus on a specific topic that you like and reach the people that you want to talk to or entertain. With this being said, when you reach your viewers, you can form a community for them. Alright guys, now we know what niche is and why is it important on YouTube, we will be giving you tips on how to find your niche and how to build up your niche. Number one, select a general topic and look for an area where you want to focus on. Whether it be gaming, makeup, vlogging, and other topics, you have to pick something you are interested in and focus on it. Once you have that topic, audiences can now identify your channel as a channel that creates these kinds of content. In that sense, you will not just be making videos on topics on top of your head, but it will now be centered towards a certain group of people. Now that you have a certain group of people, you can turn those groups of people into a community. And on YouTube, a channel that has created a community will have recurring, increasing, and constant views, making the channel grow rapidly. Number two is you should narrow down your YouTube niche. Narrowing down your niche, you will be able to specifically reach a group of people having the same interests as you, having the same humor as you, having the same mindset as you. For example, you want to create a dog training channel and you want to specifically train Siberian Huskies with ages X and Y. People who are actively looking at these kinds of videos will be more susceptible to watching your videos because your interests and theirs are in line. Be different, be you. There's a lot of content creators out there that are creating videos with the same topics as yours. And the most successful ones are the ones who have played and used their personalities and strength. If you are a funny person, you can put in your humor on your videos. If you are a factual person, you can insert facts in your topics to make your content more informative. It all boils down to what you are good at. So guys, a little homework for you, list down the things you are good at and what makes you unique. And from there, you will find ideas that can complement your personality and strengths to your videos. Create videos that you enjoy. Say for example, you found your niche on a makeup tutorial content. Let's say you like creating these kinds of videos because it's fun. You are really good at it and your viewers really like the quality content you make. But at the back of your mind, you really want to create gaming videos and you enjoy it much more than makeup videos. Creating makeup videos is great and if you enjoy creating makeup videos, you should continue on making those kinds of content. Chances are you will be burned out, you will feel a creeping feeling that you don't want to create content anymore because it's not something you honestly want to create in the first place. Make videos that make you happy because finding your niche should also be an area where you most enjoy creating videos on. Number five, be consistent with your content and have an upload schedule. Say you have built a community of people under your niche. You have to take care of them and deliver your promise to them. You have to be consistent with your content in order for your subscribers to come back to your channel. It is also imperative or important to let your audiences know your schedule so that their expectations are set for your channel. Alright guys, those are the 5 tips that you can use to find what your niche is and also build your niche from down up. If you have any additions to these tips, let me know down below. Do you have a friend who is struggling to find their voice and their audience? Share this video to them so that you can help them with their predicament. Before you leave guys, you know what to do. Click that like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name my name is Noel guys bringing you content about freedom and also tips and tricks on YouTube. Always remember, freedom, quick tips. See you in the next episode. Goodbye! <laughs>